All right, guys, I need to make this video real quick because many people don't understand this, okay? I got a lot of people who just don't understand this. Math is a sport, okay? Now, you might be like, how is math a sport, man? You know, when I think of sports, you know, I think of basketball, I think of football, I think of hockey, I think of golf, right? Because the, golf is definitely a sport, man. You got a golf boy right here. But how is math a sport? Well... Let me let me share my two cents on this matter. So, when one is doing math, I mean, it really depends on the passion you have for math, right? If you just do it as your homework, that's not a sport, right? When it really qualifies as a sport is when you start doing it to the point of where you start sweating, okay? Like me personally, if I got a really good problem I'm working on, I'm like, you know, I get my, you know, my fingers moving, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, squeeze that pencil, you feel me? Or the pen or, you know, the, you know, the, the computer if you're on a computer. So, that's the first reason. And also, I want to talk about, you know, math obviously is a big mental exercise. It's not a physical exercise, but it is a mental exercise. But where do you cross the line between a mental exercise and a physical exercise? You feel me? When one is doing a physical exercise, you know, say, say I'm running. I am moving, I am moving my body, right? You know what I mean? When one is doing a mental exercise, one is not actually moving their body in any visible way, but all those neurons are firing in there, right? And those do move a tiny bit and they get little electromagnetic waves, you know what I mean? The electromagnetic waves, you know, make your brain go, woo, which, you know, is one of the things that happens when you're playing a sport, okay? That's another explanation I have for it. And, and, you know, more and more in our society, we're going and we're kind of blurring the difference between mental and physical things, right? You know, for example, mental health and physical health are both very important. They all fall under health. So mental sports and physical sports, therefore, should all fall under the category of sports. You know, also, I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's just very obvious to me that if one has a true passion for math, it is a sport because it's just such a beautiful thing, someone doing a complex problem, in my opinion. Um, so that's my take on it. I mean, math is a sport, and anybody who t says otherwise is just not accepting of sports. You know, there's people who tell me that yo-yoing isn't a sport, and I say yo-yoing is a sport. And I'm like, and then they're, they're like, no, I'm not. They're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, well, do you think fishing is a sport? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, you're sitting on a boat, like, buh, you know, fishing is a sport, you know, uh, what, esports is a sport, I just don't understand why math can't be considered a sport, and then a lot of these sports kids, who, 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 you know, I, I'm, I'm so cool, I do sports, you know, girls like me because, you know, I'm so athletic, you know, if we, if, if we start getting girls that like math nerds, bro, damn, that would revolutionize the world. But yeah, anyways, um, there you go. Math is a sport. More people do math. Keep playing math or doing math or whatever you, whatever verb you want to use for math. And yeah, math made easy. Thank you for watching this video.